What up guys? So we are out here in my very humble garage that I call my palace. Not really, I call it my terrible shitty little garage that hopefully I won't be in much longer. Uh, but I thought real quick I would take a second to show you exactly how I get all of these 18650s and how I tear them down. Uh, I kind of went over cleaning them up and rewrapping them with you. Uh, and then also I was going to go over uh, what exactly the plan was going to be for. There's a little update to that, so let's go ahead and show you. So this is her. Uh, very dusty because it's been in here for about four years, but other than some scrapes in the rear bumper, uh, it's still in great shape and still looks great. It just needs washed because it's all dusty. Uh, it's very cramped in my garage right now. and. So I have like a, you can see the buffer all the way down the car because I won't let anything touch it. Uh, so this is what the project is for. It has three pumps, eight batteries, and these eight batteries are no more. I've always been a car guy, let alone a lowrider nut. I got into lowriders of no one. I didn't know anyone who had one or nothing. I, I don't even remember where I first saw them, but in about the fourth grade, I saw one somewhere and immediately thought that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen in my life and have been obsessed with lowriders ever since. Uh, so I built this car in 2007. I can't explain how much I love this car and how often I get asked for somebody to buy it and I just, I can't let it go. I built this car in like 2007 and it's been my baby ever since until about four years ago. The axle busted, which I've since replaced. The only thing now is that these batteries are dead. Uh, it needs an oil change too, and that's about it. But these batteries are completely shot. Instead of buying uh, eight new Group 31 deep cycle marine batteries, I decided that I would rather build some out of lithium, uh, lithium ion. I've never seen anybody with a lithium ion powered hydraulic system in a lowrider. And so I wanted to be the first one to do it. That's what all this project has been working up to. And then I recently getting closer and I to building a pack and did the math and I'm not sure I'm gonna continue with it. I don't think it's really, right now it's not practical. We've got our wedding coming up in about a month and uh, a move after that, some big things coming up. and the amount of 18650s I'm gonna need to do this are gonna cost quite a bit. So, what I think I'm gonna do is uh, discontinue on this and now build some packs for some other things I have. I'm gonna keep going with the batteries, they're just not gonna go in the car because I need probably like 1,500 of them and at about seven bucks a piece, it, it gets expensive quick. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do now is I'm always wanted to build an electric bike so I found one I'm gonna start working on that but also I have a couple other projects right now so I have got a actually two electric scooters one of them my buddy is a veteran and he got shot over in Iraq and he used it for quite some years and he hasn't used it since and he's like I know you're a geek do you just want this and so I'm either gonna build some with that but I really want to build an electric bike so I think that's what we're gonna do all right so for anybody who doesn't know how a hydraulic setup on a lowrider works. Like you might know hydraulics in general, but what all this use, or maybe you just don't know them at all. Um, these are the eight batteries here. These two right here go to that pump. And then these two over here go to that pump. And each one of these is for the rear corner, for each one rear, respective rear corner. These two and all four of these go to that one pump. That is the front pump. That's where you want all the power. That's why you see them able to hop and that's why we're able to do all that fun stuff. So you can see down here are solenoids and some oil and filler. These are solenoids right here. These are the on off switch basically. When I hit the switch up front, it tells these to open and close, which makes the connection. Uh, pump, uh, fluid goes out to the uh, cylinder to raise it. Then it comes back, but since it can't go back into this, because there's a check valve right here that only goes one way. This opens when I hit the down switch. That opens and lets it go back in through this. This is a slowdown so you can control how fast it drops. This is a giant check valve and the reason is, notice how much beefier that pump is than this one. 
that is because it's a front pump it makes way more power takes way more voltage uh giant check valve versus this is the little tiny check valve on that this is the check valve on the front uh this is just another standard oil system dump there's really nice ones called square dumps or uh they're adel and adex are really nice and really expensive uh, i used to have a cadillac that had two of them but i sold that years ago last thing you see here is an accumulator fluid doesn't compress like air does think of a syringe you can plug one in and give it a little squish and there's some pressure you couldn't do that if it was filled with water and it's because hydro fluid doesn't compress at least hydraulic fluid uh, or water doesn't so the inside this is called the accumulator there is a rubber balloon basically filled with nitrogen and that squeezes as i go along and lets it have a little bit of play so it rides softer this is a shutoff valve because if you want to hop that can kind of get in the way so i could shut that off so yeah that's basically it why don't i get to the point of this video and show you guys how i get the 18650s out of the laptop battery all right guys so what you see here is pretty much all the tools i use uh to get these laptop batteries open and really this pretty much and then these and these the screwdrivers and the other set are kind of just extra uh and here is my stock of laptop batteries and other assorted lithium-ion batteries uh i've got quite a few in there so let's go ahead and show you how i do this all right guys so we have got a battery here uh let's go over exactly how i get these out bench vice is here not too much pressure because i don't want to hurt the 18650 in there and what i'm going to do looks pretty rough but they're fine in there if you think there's there's six in here and they're split so when i go to press on this it's going to give at the connection point which is what i want really basically put this in here I grab on and just give it a twist and then there we go that's that that's pretty much it I'll clean them up later but right now I'm just trying to get them apart got my garbage box that's where I put all the parts two more two more all right let's let's do another one how about this one that looks like it has like maybe four in it. Well, that was too easy. And every once in a while, you got the tools. And that's that. Ugh. So anyways, that's a quick overview of the project, of uh, what they are slash were going in probably. I am still, however, going to try and build a pack big enough to at least turn one of the pumps. I just, I got to test it out with just some jumper cables or something. Uh, but yeah, so far uh, you got to see the what they're actually going in and how I get the batteries out. So, I will see you guys next time in the next video, which hopefully is a lot sooner. I got some other big news as far as uh, career-wise, so that'll be fun to share too. So, I will talk to you guys later.